You're just about to start your investment journey. You have a few thousand saved up and are ready to start building wealth for your future. But there's a problem. There are dozens of ways that you can turn the savings in your bank account into an investment portfolio. Dozens of Australian investment platforms to choose from. It's a good problem, but still a problem. Today, we're going to explain to you what you should look for when choosing an investing platform how to sort through the information and determine what's important, and some of the things to be on guard for when making that decision. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about our very own investing platform, BetaShares Direct. Let's get into it. How do you turn cash in your hand into an ownership stake in a living, breathing company? Or a bar of gold stored in a vault in London? The answer is brokers. A broker is the intermediary between you, the investor, and an exchange. Think of an exchange like a market where different producers are selling their goods. Instead of goods, it's investments, like shares. An exchange is a marketplace for investments. Your broker connects you to the market. In the past, brokers were people you could call up to buy and sell securities on your behalf. Want to buy some shares in BHP? Call up your broker and they'll sort you out. Of course, this is a service, and the broker isn't doing this out of the goodness of their heart. You have to pay them for their time. This is known as a brokerage fee. Over time, as technology advanced, brokers didn't need to be people anymore. You could use online investing platforms to gain access to the market without needing to call a person. It has also meant cheaper brokerage fees. These online investing platforms have become the standard way for investors to buy and sell securities. They're fast, they're usually inexpensive, and you can sign up without even speaking to anyone. Let's discuss the key things to look for before you start investing on a platform. Fees, range of investment options, user experience, and trust. As we've discussed on this channel, fees are important. Usually investing platforms have a couple of types of fees. Brokerage fees are the amount that platforms charge you for each transaction, that is, buying or selling investments. Some platforms charge a flat fee, like $3 or $10 per trade. Others will charge an amount based on the percentage of the total trade value. For example, if you buy $500 worth of shares, they might charge 0.5% in brokerage, equal to $2.50. Naturally, the lower the brokerage fees, the better. But you should also consider the overall fee structure and the way you're investing. Account fees may also be charged by your investing platform. Some platforms charge these fees on a periodic basis, based on the value of your holdings, regardless of whether you undertake any transactions. If you're not transacting regularly, these fees may feel unfair. You might be using the platform to transact only once or twice a year, but being charged an account fee regularly as if you were a daily user. Let's use an example to illustrate. Anna and Mike are both looking to start investing. There are two investing platforms available, Platform A and Platform B. Platform A charges a $10 brokerage fee per trade and no account fees. Platform B charges no brokerage fee, but account fees of $5 a month. Anna uses a dollar cost averaging strategy. She buys ETF units every month when she gets her paycheck. Mike uses a set and forget investing approach. He only invests once a year and doesn't touch his account otherwise. Anna and Mike both want to invest $1,200 every year. Anna does this in 12 installments of $100. Mike does this in one lump sum investment of $1,200. For Anna, platform B is cheaper. Over the year, she will pay a total of $60 in account fees. But if Mike uses platform B, he will be paying $60 every year, despite only making a single trade. If he chooses the platform with $10 brokerage and no account fees, he would only be paying $10 a year. Likewise, if Anna uses the platform with brokerage fees, she would be paying $120 a year in brokerage, much more than the platform with no brokerage and account fees. So, the way you invest will actually help you determine the cheapest platform to use. It's worth thinking about. There's also something else to keep in mind when it comes to fees. Some platforms will charge other fees, like currency exchange fees, inactivity fees, or transfer fees. 
You should always read the terms and conditions or disclosure document for the relevant platform, which includes information on all the fees and costs that apply before deciding to invest. Next thing to look for, range of investment options. Some investing platforms offer access to shares, others ETFs, others international shares, and some even assets like cryptocurrency. More options to invest in means you could achieve better diversification across asset class, geography, and sector in your portfolio. If you're a more experienced investor, more options allow the freedom to build wealth your way. It's worth noting, however, that if this is your first foray into investing, having fewer options can simplify the process. A few good options in your portfolio could be all you need to set you up. Not everyone needs all the bells and whistles that a full service broker or platform may offer. Investing can really be as simple or as sophisticated as you need it to be, and your investing platform should reflect that. Next up, user experience. How does it feel to use and navigate the investing platform? Is it difficult and confusing? Are there too many options? Are there too few? All of these questions come into user experience. The best platforms are designed with the customer in mind. Some platforms have to walk a line between ease of use and providing a full list of features. Other platforms are extremely usable, but may be a little too simplistic for more experienced investors. A lot of platforms these days have associated apps that you can use to trade. This additional convenience can be a huge benefit for those who might be looking to invest regularly or on the go. In many cases, you can manage your portfolio entirely from your mobile phone. On the other hand, something you might want to watch out for is gamified investing. Apps that constantly send you reminders or notifications might make you feel like you're on top of markets and your portfolio, but they also might be incentivizing you to trade more often than you should be. This sort of gamified investing is usually an appeal to short-term trading. Buying and selling on these instincts can turn investing from a way of generating wealth to gambling, so be wary. Finally, do you trust the company operating the platform with your money? Trust remains the first priority for a platform. An investing platform can tick all of the boxes above, offering optimal fees, investment options, user experience, tax and reporting, and still fail when it comes to investor trust. At the end of the day, all these things become meaningless if you don't trust the company with your money. Do some research into the company that operates the investing platform. Do they have a strong track record? Are they based in Australia or overseas? Are their interests aligned with yours as an investor? All of these questions are important to ask before deciding on the right investing platform for you. If you're looking for an investing platform, check out BetaShares Direct. BetaShares Direct offers powerful tools to help build wealth your way. You can see if it's the right investing platform for you here. You can also learn more about some of the topics discussed in this video, like dollar cost averaging or the importance of fees in some of our other BetaShares Explains videos here. That's all for now. Bye.